Hello and welcome to Rotted, and this is another episode of Coffee and Contemplation. Now, I got inspired to do this episode by watching Dario Argento's 1975 movie, Deep Red. And uh, ultimately, the theme of this one is going to be the difference between a horror movie and a thriller. Uh, and this is really, really tricky. This is something when, before I started this channel, when I was conceptualizing the rotted review channel, the, this is one of the things that I found difficult was this concept. And it, I, I was reading forums and debates and people talking with one another and so forth. And honestly, I ultimately where it lands is there is, uh, a difference, but it's very gray area. And, uh, certain movies can be different shades. You know, it could be, uh, you know, ash or charcoal. And depending on whoever's watching it, perception of that movie, it could be either one. Um, it, it's definitely not a clean cut line. I can't give a solid definition where, uh, you know, like, well, now movies are on this side and these movies are on this side. I can't do it. Um, but I will talk about some of the differences that are occurring there. So, <clears throat> you know, what am I talking about? Well, let's take um, uh, let's take two movies and compare them. Let's take Seven and Saw. Seven, I feel very strongly, is not a horror movie. It is a thriller. It is a suspense, uh, you know, uh, whodunit thriller with some, you know, gory, scary elements to it. Saw, I very strongly believe, is a horror movie. Both films have no supernatural elements to them. Both films have a serial killer that believes that what he is doing is right, uh, is is uh, serving a level of societal justice. Uh, <clears throat> both films find a way for the killer to kind of have the moral ambiguity of uh, forcing people to put themselves in mortal danger as opposed to simply taking a knife to their throat. So what's the difference uh, thematically? What, what is the difference that makes Seven a thriller and Saw a horror and uh, neither the twain shall meet? Uh, the best way I can really put it, after thinking about it for a long time and reading uh, you know, forums and uh, talking with my friends and trying to get a bead on this, is... Um, it is the difference between uh, if you're witnessing an accident in progress, it is the difference between turning your head and looking on and grinning. Uh, horror movies have a, a cheekiness, uh, a, a, a love of the macabre and death and, uh, and, and visualizing it. Uh, you know, some of the best horror movies like uh, Psycho and so forth, it does cut away, but you know, you do see the blood and, uh, you know, it does have acts of killing. Um, I mean, if you think about seven in more detail, you start to realize that it doesn't show the murder. I mean, the end let's not talk about, cause I don't want to necessarily talk about spoilers within a coffee and contemplation, although statute of limitations on seven, I mean, come on, but regardless, um, you don't really see the murders happen. Uh, you see a lot of aftermath and gruesome aftermath. Definitely. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the gluttony, uh, you know, you saw the, the guy, he was already dead. The lust, I mean, that was already dead. The greed was already dead. Uh, you know, you saw a lot of the aftermath where I saw, you saw in gruesome detail with the camera refusing to look away, uh, you know, people meeting their demise. And that's ultimately, I think where it winds up is that level of, uh, death happens to be a vehicle with which the storyline gets driven in a thriller. Whereas with a horror movie, death is almost the point of the storyline revolves around one death to the next and showing them and having a little bit of glee with that. <clears throat> uh, both, you know, uh, I mean, I I've said before and I'll, I'll, forever say that the best horror movies are, uh, mysteries at their heart. Uh, it's just whether or not they're willing to go that extra mile and keep the camera on the action while dreadful things are happening. That's what makes a horror movie. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's simply embracing and loving 
the macabre for what it is. And I see that in horror movie lovers all the time. Uh, you know, you yourself, if you're watching this channel, you're probably a horror movie lover. And I got to say that the people I've talked to that love horror films are some of the kindest, gentlest, funniest souls out there. And, uh, when we watch horror films, especially ones that do go over the top with violence and are just ridiculous ABCs of death kind of thing. I love that l sense of glee and giddiness that happens there. And when we watch a serious horror movie and we're able to recapture that feeling when we were, I don't know, kids or teenagers and the lights were dimming in the movie theater and you knew you were in for a hell of a ride, the feeling you get the butterflies in the stomach and when the tension draws out for what is probably going to be a jump scare, maybe not, but, uh, you know, I, that feeling we love to capture, we love to embrace, we, uh, we enjoy that macabre nature of it. A thriller you are enjoying a film for what it is and trying to, uh, you know, piece together a whodunit. It, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a mystery at the heart of it. It's a mystery. Whereas horror movies, it, it's a mystery at the heart of it. So, uh, but the, the entire thing is that macabre nature, that supernatural sometimes nature that, uh, showing the horrors of mankind nature, uh, having the, the visual gore and blood and so forth. And, uh, I think that's one of the reasons why it is such a, a much more broad genre of film than thriller. I mean, thriller, you kind of wind up with some, uh, you know, detective thrillers, some, uh, you know, espionage thrillers, some spy thrillers and so forth, but horror, the range of horror is almost as wide as the range of movies itself. You have comedic horror, you have compilation anthology horror, you have uh, supernatural horror, you have uh, just gore splatterfest horror, you have low budget, you have high budget, and each one can work, you know, the low budget can work much better than the high budget. Uh, and it's one of the reasons that I love it so much and I wanted to make a review channel specifically devoted to it is because it's such a wide world and it is absolutely worth discussing on its own merits. So, uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about. I think, uh, that, that kind of covers at least my interpretation of the difference between thriller and horror. And if you want to respond to this, if you want to leave comments below, talk about, uh, you know, why I'm full of it or I'm dead wrong about any of this, I would love to hear from you. So I will be reading comments and engaging with them. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Coffee and Contemplation, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on my next review. Thank you.